We shouldn't have to wait until politicians are the victims of their own policies to change the policies. Or is that just life in America these days? Here now exclusively, Democrat Congressman Henry Cuellar. Well, we're glad you're all right. Is D.C. safe, Congressman? You know, I've always said when I talk about the border that there is a immigration crisis there, but I would say that when you look at the numbers of uh, murders, rape, assaults at the border, let's say Laredo, Texas, I've always said that uh, Washington's about two or three times more dangerous, and we certainly see it now. You know, I got three brothers that are peace officers. One is a border sheriff. I've always supported the, uh, the law enforcement. I think it's important that we support law enforcement because the society without law and order is not a society. A lot of the people in your party are not supporting law enforcement. I mean, that's pretty obvious. What's the deal? Well, I, I think a lot of Democrats do. There are some that have a different opinion. I can speak about myself. Uh, I don't believe in defunding the police. I voted uh, against what uh, the Washington, D.C. Council did to lower penalties. I think that's a wrong direction. I was one of 30 Democrats that we don't feel that you... Uh, affect crime by lowering the penalties. You ought to increase the penalty. And I agree with the uh, police chief that said, if you're going to keep dangerous people, you got to lock them up and keep them there. And that's the way you're supposed to do it. You got to show yeah. uh, law and order. Well, Otherwise, with, you're going to have people running around with guns. With right all now. due respect, your party's out to lunch on the crime issue. Did these guys point a gun in your face? Well, uh, again, I will tell you, I speak for myself, and I will tell you that I believe in law and order. Yes, uh, there were three uh, individuals. I looked to the left. Uh, there was somebody with a gun pointed at me. I looked to the right. Uh, there was somebody there. There was a third person behind me. I do have a black belt in, in karate, but I quickly assessed the, uh, the situation. You got to stay calm because they look like three young individuals. Uh, and I decided to say just... Take the car. Uh, we were able to track the car and my um, my phone, and uh, within an hour and a half, uh, they got everything back. Uh, so I certainly want to thank uh, Capitol Police and Metro Police for doing their yeah, job. Yeah, we do too. In a very professional. Very way. good job getting everything back. So you're saying you could have handled the three guys with your karate moves, even with a weapon? <laughs> Hey, let me tell you what happened. When they stole my uh, my sushi, that pissed me off. <laughs> they stole your sushi. <laughs> do you think you're making, it's funny, do you think you're taking this a little too casually? You know, they stole my sushi, I have a black belt, I could have taken them all down. Yeah, look, you know, any situation, it's not pleasant, Jesse, to have, uh, you know, guns pointed at your face. It's not pleasant at all to have that. Uh, there are some people that have a very difficult situation. Some don't survive, uh, as I saw in your videos that you played before. Uh, but, but I have to say, look, you know, every time you face a situation, uh, I got my training where you got to stay calm. You got to understand what the situation is. I took the situation. Uh, I analyzed it. I, I uh, uh, took a calm way because you don't want to get three young punks uh, with guns and never know what they're going to do. Uh, when you give somebody uh, that gun, you know, the, the three young punks uh, that had guns, you just got to analyze the situation, be calm, sure. say, take the car. We've, we tracked everything within an hour and a half, thanks to the police. So you got the car and you got your sushi. Thank God. Have we gotten the three punks? <laughs> Uh, you know, I, uh, I'm hoping, I'm waiting for the police uh, to do that. that right. I hope they do because, again, I don't care who it is, a member of Congress, anybody, people, if they break the law, uh, if they threaten somebody, they carjack somebody, uh, depending on the crime, you throw the key away. All right. Well, you know how to handle yourself. No car or sushi is worth losing your life over. Congressman, <laughs> thank you so much. That's right. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.